morning. You know, why we greet you good morning is because good things only come in the morning. You know, the Bible said that early in the morning Jacob was blessed. Early in the morning, not in the afternoon, not in the evening, not at night. We will begin everything with morning. So when we greet you good morning, it means God has seen everything in you. And he will order your day. The Bible said that when Job was tested, when Job was tested, then God said to Job, when have you commanded the morning? I think Job chapter 6, verse number 12. Say, when have you commanded the morning? When? So you have to command your morning. That's why we greet you good morning. Because every good thing comes in the morning. We love you. We love you so much. We wish you could make this thing every week. But because of our commitments, and uh, again, your commitment also. You are committed, we are committed. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, and that is why we always try as much as we can to make sure we visit you. And when we visit you, we feel happy. Because, listen, we give you, you receive from us. There are people who have today, but no one to receive from them. There are many people looking for who to give. They don't have. They don't know who to give. They die with it. And the Bible says, blessed is he who gives. If you look at the Quran, other religions, even the Hindus, the all religions, they say giving is very important. Yes. What you give matters and the heart which you give it. Giving makes a way for you. Giving prolongs your life. Giving gives you strength. Giving prolongs everything you want. So giving is very important. In life, what matters is what you give. It's not that you give rice or you give money. Your heart, the heart which gives, is what counts. Amen. Not showing up, not self aggrandizement not showing that we are giving, we are rich, we are poor. No, it doesn't count. What counts is the heart. Is the heart. That is why we go to all religions in the world. Every religion, they will tell you give. And when you stop giving, you start dying. Maybe you give a smile. Maybe you give... Like small children, you do, hey, hey. they do like this. They give you something, and you smile. That's what blesses the heart. That's what prolongs our life. The heart which we give. That's the great thing that touch and give it. That's what the Bible says, for God so give, love the world that he give. He give. Abraham give. Look at all religions in the world giving. Whether you're Muslim, whether you're Christian, whether you're Hindu, whether you're Krishna, whether you're a Buddha, it doesn't matter. What matters is your heart of giving. If you don't give, forget about there. Forget about making heaven. People might have forgotten you. Your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren might have forgotten you. But one thing I want to tell you today, God never forgets you. And because God never forgets you, every day when I sleep, when I lie down, I think about you. When I'm overseas, I think about you. When I'm here, I think about you. Why? I say, oh, we have not made the air our air, darling. I want to be old like you. Actually, I want to be 135. At 90, at 80, at 100, at 120, I want to see you healthy. That's my prayer for you every day. I don't want you to live by medication. I don't want you to live by medication. Say, I will never live by medication. Yes, because the medication, you don't know what to eat. You don't know what to, the mix there they give to us. Praise the Lord. So we want to say thank you. Once again, we apologize for keeping you. We have come in conjunction with West Bank, Seven Daiso, Rafa TV, Shekana Glorious Ministry to say thank you for receiving from us. And may God to continue to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. something just like me
Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for receiving from us. Thank you once again for receiving from us. And we promise to come again. We promise to meet you again. And most importantly, we promise to pray for you and with you every day. Because that is the greatest gift you can give to you. Prayer. Praying for your health. Praying for your family, your grandchildren. Your great-grandchildren is very important. Pray for your loved ones to always remember you that you are here. But one thing I want to assure you, you are not alone. We are with you in the spirit. We are with you in the physical. We are with you in prayer every day. And pray for us as well to remember you. Because there are many people they forget. Pray for us as well to remember you. Because when we remember you, God also remember us. Praise the Lord. So we want to say thank you once again. And those of you that are not feeling okay, we know by the time we meet you again, you're already healed. We want to touch you. We want to say thank you. And we know that you are healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. It is. Say it again. It is better to give than to receive. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mama, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are healed. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the church and everything. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, appreciate it very, very much from all of you. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, mama. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, mama. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, mama. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We love you. Stay blessed. We see you again in peace. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.